All right. I just finished work to the uh, suspension on the Jeep Wagoneer 1985, nicknamed the Mutt. I notice I very I notice very much that uh, this truck it's now sitting it's now sitting up higher in the back end. Doesn't lean like it used to. All because a little bit of work to the sh to the shocks down there. Uh, I put in uh, another set of shocks, replaced the ones that were in there before. I actually come to find out that this Jeep is actually heavier than that uh, Ram Charger that I uh, took the shocks off of. But I just took it down this uh, nice stretch of dirt road here. It goes 50. I put it up to 50 and it still cruises. So I'm happy. Maybe a little bit more of a tune up in the engine. Probably take care of its uh, problem of uh, nearly dying out when you gas it. And to be honest, I really shouldn't be trying to burn around in this thing because I don't have any gas in it. Uh, I actually traced my problem of the. Um, I traced my problem of the fuel, the filler, um, the filler lines. If I put gas into it, the filler lines uh, leak at the bottom, and it's the rubber hose. So pretty much any rubber that's on here, it's probably at the point right now where it's gonna break apart, deteriorate, that good stuff. So right now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive this back home because I don't have any plates and dirt road is uh, kind of the only place I can go. I shouldn't really be out here.
this in too low. I think it was in too low. No. I'm trying to find my spot where I parked this car, parked this Jeep at. Okay, I think I found it. gauge looks good oil I don't know what's up with my oil gauge here but my oil gauge drops down to zero even though uh, it's running properly neutral here Okay, it's back in uh, two-wheel drive, and work on it is done. Another uh, video of the month to end the day.